When looking at fingerprint ridge patterns and characteristics, it can be a little bit challenging. So this video here is to provide you some background information, but really you have to go through and just kind of work on it yourself. Because initially this picture here with the little boxes might just seem like they're randomly drawn, but hopefully as you look at some more fingerprints and those some of the characteristics to look for, you'll be able to identify exactly what these boxes are around. So first off, this does apply more than just fingerprints. Fingerprints will be kind of the focus here, but remember fingers, toes, feet, palms, and lips are covered with small ridges that are raised portions of the skin, and these are arranged in connected units called dermal or friction ridges. So this can be applied more than just fingerprints, even though that will be our focus because it's kind of the easiest to kind of take a look at. The purpose of these ridges is to help grip objects. So they kind of act like sandpaper and that's why you have these ridges so you can hold on to things. If you've ever put hand lotion on or kind of put oil on, you can see it's very hard to grip things because you're filling in those ridges. So the black and white of fingerprints, and I said this applies to other things as well, but when we're looking at an image, the ridge is the black because it comes in contact with the ink. So if we're looking at an image, a fingerprint that had an inked image, the ridges are the dark regions here. The valleys are the white areas, and those are the areas that did not come in contact with the ink. So it's just important to understand what you're looking at when you're actually seeing a fingerprint. So as I mentioned, we we're talking more than fingerprints. Ridgeology is kind of like the general term here. It's an evaluation method of all ridges on uh, the volar areas, not just the fingerprints. This process helps address the entire ridge uh, detail spectrum. And as in where are those ridges? Well, for example, just your palms, for example, is another area where ridges can come into play. And also that can be important for trying to identify or eliminate a potential suspect. Identifying fingerprints, there may, may be no kind of universally accepted number of identification points required uh, for two fingerprints to be used to be called a quote match. So different countries have different minimum points required to declare a reasonable match. The more of these characteristics that you find on the suspect uh, print and kind of the known or the control, uh, the greater chance that those are a match. But again, there's no set number. So the more of these you can identify and the more of these you can kind of like match between the two, all the better. So what are those ridge characteristics? Well, here's just some examples of some general ridge characteristics. Uh, these are as points of identification when comparing fingerprint samples. The more points you can find in common, the better the match. You can see core, ending ridge, short ridge, uh, fork, or bifurcation, delta, hook, eye, dot, crossover, bridge, enclosures, or specialty. So you're kind of a great kind of cartoon representation of these. So you can use these when you start looking at fingerprints to be able to see some of those details. Some of these details, again, explained here with a little bit of a kind of example um, of these patterns, kind of the ridge ending, uh, the bifurcation, as I mentioned, the dot or island, depending on the size. Uh, the delta, we talked about being able to identify and classify certain types of fingerprints, and you see uh, many others listed here as well. So important maybe to kind of pause this or print this out and take a look um, at this in comparison when you're looking at an actual fingerprint. Those common ridge characteristics. So note the dots that you see um, on a fingerprint represent natural skin pores. So when we're looking at the dots, those are just referring to the pores on the, uh, your skin and where they're located and that's causing a change in where the ink is deposited. The simplified ridge characteristics. So here's kind of an example fingerprints and here's some of those characteristics identified uh, in an example. So here we see the circle and identifying each one of those. Again, this just takes some time to be able to go over and actually see, okay, here's a split, what we call a split, we call a bifurcation. Here's an enclosure, here's a ridge ending. We're able to appreciate some of the details of these fingerprints once we're able to understand some of these characteristics. Here's another example, looking at just, again, those kind of examples and the details pointed out and identified. So good to kind of go through and compare. Um, so you can do it on the example here. Uh, so that when you get to a fingerprint that looks like this, can you now go through and identify some of those key characteristics? So I mentioned this is a way to test your skills. The answer is on the next slide. And I'll present it here in three, two, one. So hopefully you're able to find some of these key 
characteristics, able to identify them well. Uh, and if you weren't, go back, review, because this does take some time. But the more you see, the more time you spend, the better you will be at recognizing these key characteristics when it comes to fingerprint identification.